hello students today we are going to study science and technology part 2 of standard 10 today's lesson is lesson number 10 disaster management and the topic which we are going to see are disaster types of disasters and effects of disasters disaster means what disaster means various thing dangerous events which occur many times in the environment and which lead to huge loss of life and property here you can see some of the pictures of the disasters like drought or famine famines are of two types dry famine and wet famines second picture is of earthquake where you can see that the building has been collapsed and many volunteers are working as a rescue team third picture is about the flood where the houses are under water these are all of a sudden troubles disasters means they are the sudden troubles it is not pre planned or we cannot stop them some of them cannot be predicted the disasters like earthquake or tsunamis or cyclones can be predicted because of the help of the technology but some of the disasters like forest fire cannot be predicted third point is period of disaster is not seen sometimes uh, an earthquake takes place for some time or very few seconds whereas some earthquakes can take lot of time or it can give lot of tra trembles for the earth fourth point is some are short term and some are the long term disasters various areas like social economical political cultural are affected this point we will discuss in deep later on and last is reasons are different the reasons of the disasters are different in your textbook they have given you types of the disasters usually we know that there are only two types of disasters one is natural disaster and second is man made disaster but further these disasters are also divided into different types first you can see geophysical disasters second is biological and third one is man made disasters in geophysical we can take example like earthquake volcano tsunamis landslides in that geological and atmospheric are the two types in biological disasters there are two types one is because of the plants and second is because of the animals nowadays we are facing the disaster which is called as the covid-19 epidemic this is also a disaster and this disasters comes under biological disaster if you see here in the biological disaster they have given two parts plants and animals in animals there is the first point that is infectious viruses and we have been attacked by a virus called as covid-19 and we are struggling to uh, recover from this disaster and this disaster is long term disaster the effect is long term man made disasters are unknown and some international unknown means uh, suppose by mistake any gas leaked out in any chemical industry or any blast takes place or any accident takes place on the road or in a building or in a house they are known as the man made disaster or unknown disaster and international disasters means here uh, many uh, nations take part like war or the bomb blast fire fires or the forced migration what is the meaning of migration migration means the uh, people travel from one country to the another country then terrorism then rapes then child labor these are the international disasters in uh, in your textbook they have given you some questions and based on that questions we will discuss the effects of the 
few disasters so the questions are like what are the effects of the flood so the answer if you want to write for this uh, for this question then you should cover some of the points which are given over here first is uh, the effect of the flood is first loss of life there is lot of loss of life it can be plants it can be animals not only human beings animals also suffer because of the floods then second is destruction of the crops this point is very important because uh, it is also called as the wet famine destruction of crop means a lot of uh, water accumulate in the uh, farms or in the fields third one is soil erosion because of the flood lot of soil is washed away which causes soil erosion fourth point is damage to property last year we have experienced a uh, flood in maharashtra mostly in the kokan area uh, in kolhapur also and uh, there we have heard about the news like people suffered a lot because uh, many people's houses were under water uh, some people were staying up on the first floor of their house if it is it was available there was very a lot of problem faced by the people and as the water entered in their houses their things which they have in their houses like tv refrigerator washing machines or any any other uh, properties then they all got damaged and last point is increase in the disease when there is water all over then there are there is lot of loss of life here many animals die many people to die so the uh, there is a problem to uh, uh, face if you have to bury or if you have to um, destroy the dead body it is very difficult so there is increase in the disease after the floods second question is about the effects of the dry famine dry famine means here you can see the picture in which you can see that the there is no water there is a water scarcity here and the field is uh, totally dried so the effects of the famine is first is starvation starvation means people don't get food to eat because there is no agriculture because of no rainfall no agriculture so people strive or starve because of the no food second is malnutrition if there is no food then there will be no nutrition for the people third one is uncontrolled movement of the population uncontrolled movement of population means if in particular area there is or the or the particular area is suffering from the famine or the area is affected by the famine then the people do not stay there they leave that place and they go in the another village or another area last point is increased mortality increased mortality mortality means the death rate because of no food no water people human beings plants and animals they die and that's why there is increase in the mortality next is effects of the earthquake the earthquake means the shaking of the earth's lives or the um, earth so the effects is first is landslide landslides means it can take place where the villages are uh, situated under the mountains or the hill areas so the landslides can take place over there which can cause loss of the lives you must have heard about the malvin gao of pune which went under the uh, full uh, it was affected by the landslide second one is tsunami if there is earthquake in the sea then it can cause lot of uh, big strong waves the strong waves are called as the tsunami third one because of the earthquake there is lot of loss of life many people get trapped in under the buildings or in their houses some of the people die some of them become totally disabled completely disabled last point is destruction of the property here you can see in the picture a total building is collapsed so this is the loss of the or the damaged of damaging of the property people have to recover again after this next is effects of the forest fire 
the forest fire means this the fire which takes place because of the heat increase this forest fire typically takes place in the summer season you must have heard in the newspaper about the forest fire during the summer season summer season is the uh, proper favorable condition for the forest fire when the fire takes place in the forest it destroys all the uh, forest flora and the fauna means animals plants everything so first is loss of the biodiversity so many animals birds plants they die in forest fire second is increase in the co2 level as there is a smoke there is a increase in the uh, carbon dioxide level third point is extinction of the plants and animals so if in a particular forest there are plants or the animals which are not available in another forest then these plants and animals will be extinct extinct means forever they will be lost and last one is global warming as there will be increase in the co2 level it will surely uh, help for the increase in the global warming so this was the uh, effects of some of the disasters remaining part we'll see in the next video thank you